Hello, Tushy user. A longtime listener, lover of your sponsor. Quick question. When will you be covering anything about the oil drilling sanctioned by the latest immig- and the latest immigration restrictions? Uh, no, five minutes and two episodes don't count. Pathetic ignorance of actual issue. Okay. Well, I mean, if that doesn't count for you, the the five minutes and two episodes that we've we've talked about with Willow, uh, the Willow Project. Um, I'll I go mean, there. We had an interview on the immigration uh, proposals um, weeks ago. Um, I, what? Why don't you send me a, a a plan for what we should cover, and give me uh, some writers, and or or, uh, or or keep being salty. Send an email with all of the links to the the stories that you want us to do, yeah. and uh, I will consider it. If you can help Bradley produce the show, then you can, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give him, give him a Oh, hand. yeah. Schiff's Bank in Puerto Rico was put in receivership last year. That's what it was. I, I don't remember this. Receivership, probably because probably it wasn't woke enough. <laughs> um, you know, I also just got chastised on Twitter for not covering what's going on in Finland <laughs> with the anti-trans people writers or something i'm not even sure i don't i don't know what travistock is i don't know what poutine is you don't know what poutine is well wait a second I, I maybe that was a joke oh no no it was, oh yeah yeah i think that was that was, oh, that was a, a joke. canadian joke i think but but also <laughs> the original tweet was a uh, no results for Sam Cedar from Sweden on Twitter yeah well no results from Sam Cedar on Tavistock from Twitter that's because of your quiet bigotry well, against yeah. the Swedes. It's because, you know, if you only consider the uh, you know, this country's what's going on in this country, just a single might look like a monomaniacally obsessed weirdo. But if you consider Finland is all of a sudden justified. I, I, I honestly thought the poutine was serious because I was like, I have no idea what the other things are. No, I think that was a joke. <laughs> that that was a joke. So what is he referencing, though, about I what's happening know, in Finland? I don't know. I don't care i mean i think like there are there are swedish and finnish um i don't know if swedish uh there are finnish um uh the the finnish i don't know if it's the finnish government or the finnish uh medical association it's coming up with a uh new regime for gender affirming care um they may have a different existing regime for gender affirming care than we do and they are reorienting it and i think there is some anger that i have not uh, done sufficient coverage of that and but everything i'm seeing is praise for these this gender recognition effort in finland so well, the other thing is there must is be that some blowback that you haven't covered the uh finland also i have a feeling as a country has far more uh progressive sort of standards around uh trans people than the united states i don't know if there are multiple provinces in finland a i don't know if there are multiple provinces in finland i don't know if they have states or whatnot i don't know if they exist if there are laws outlawing any affirmative care uh gender affirming care i don't know if that exists there yeah i don't know anything about finland um i do know the population of, of new york city is bigger than finland and they do have multiple provinces somebody tells me tavistock relates to a conspiracy theory it's okay. a right wing uh uh timba and toast covered it pretty good okay. um <laughs> Uh, dear sir, I wish to complain about the dire lack of Lori Markanian NBA coverage on your show. <laughs> this is Finland Erasure, sir, and I find it appalling. Harumph, says Snarkorsky. Yeah, two minutes don't count, Emma. Hey, hey, hey. He is, he is the lone, like, Finnish representative right now in the, in, in the NBA, right? I, I, I like Lori Markanian for that reason. Um, it, you know, like, I, I, I if you feel that the show is not covering what you want it to cover enough over time, then my suggestion is find a show that fulfills what you're looking for. <laughs> I've been doing this now. This is my 19th year. 
you know, like I think it's pretty clear the issue sets that I uh, find important or I engage with or feel like I can have the most value at. Um, do I, you know, we covered the Willow Project in the days leading up to the uh, okaying of it. We covered it on the day that it was um, that it was announced. And I would imagine that sometime in the next month or so, when it becomes clear and there's a clearer assessment as to what it's going to do, um, we will have more on that. But if it's not sufficient for you, like I could like recommend like, you know, a, a, a bunch of different places where it's, I mean, it's the bottom line is it's highly, highly problematic. In addition to like it just being like, you know, 180 degrees different from what uh, Biden said he was going to do. Aside from just like it's, you know, uh, Joe Biden is a political animal and, um, and uh, he will side with like, you know, a massive uh, petroleum uh, business. It's going to it's going to put two million cars worth of carbon in the atmosphere. Which really fundamentally undercuts the uh, all of the stuff in the IRA that was like supposed to like turn the clock back. I mean, it really does feel like, you know, give with one hand, take away with the other. I don't know how much further, you know, uh, we, we can we can add to that. We could we could have. We, we talked to Erica Pinheiro like what two three weeks ago. Like, yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I mean, I don't think it's a, I don't think this is a real concern. Like if this person is genuinely upset about it. I think they just need perspective, not uh, us to change our behavior.